Good morning. The title for today is 2012 Foregoing, I'm sorry, Ignoring Fraud and Corruption Will Not Make It Go Away. This is the year when the people must take back power from the elite that has enslaved humanity for thousands of years. An awakened populace realizing how we have relinquished our birthright and squandered our inheritance, must recognize and stand in its own power, backed by truth and revived by love. It is not enough to simply know of the wrongs. They must be confronted, including taking responsibility for our own part in the scan. These things will not go away by ignoring them. They must be confronted with courage and determination. There's a part of me just like there's a part of you that would rather simply ignore the world that we live in, the things that we don't like about it, and hope that somebody somewhere will make it go away. That's why we have religions that center the whole plan of salvation on escaping this dark, evil world. It's why we have New Age philosophies that teach if you focus on something, it expands which sometimes is true, by the way, but oftentimes it's not true because focusing on something is how you, how you turn the lights on it. It's how you move it from the unconscious to the conscious state of mind. And a problem, cannot be, a problem of ignorance cannot be corrected by ignoring, which is more ignorance. How many times do I have to say that before people get it? Why do I start at 444 so often? Why is that such a big issue? Because 4 is, is an earth number. Air, fire, water, earth, that's what we've dealt with. And of course, we're going we're gonna to get at some point into the quintessential elements. But 4, it's the four corners of the earth, the four directions. 4, it's grounding on earth. And spiritual beings having a human experience have a responsibility to ground the energy of love and truth on this planet. But there are people that have been running the planet for a very long time. People and perhaps even extraterrestrial entities, if you want to believe that. I do. And I also believe that in the heavens, the battle is already won. It was won last year. Maybe even before that. It's been being one. The tide has shifted. But the energy still has to be grounded. In 20, uh, 2012, we're still here. And there's still this, this problem. Just like I have my problem with the lawsuit and the fraudulent attempt of, the, of especially that one lawyer who has represented three different banks because the bank, the first bank was shut down. And, and, and assimilated by, the, by another bank. And then the second bank, the same thing happened. And now it's a third bank, PNC Bank out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. But they've been continuing the same fraud against me. Now, people say, if you ignore it, it'll go away. Well, for almost a year, I did ignore it because I thought I won. It was over. But then they revived the same fraud again. And they, they bring up all of these... Things that have nothing to do with reality, but it's their reality, but it's not the truth. It's still fraud. And the government, the courts, are in a conspiracy with the banks to continue this fraud because the banks pay the 
pay into the funds for all these mortgage-backed derivatives, mortgage-backed securities or whatever you like they're called, that goes into the retirement funds of the judges, the 801Ks or, or, or 801C3s or whatever they're called. It goes into their retirement fund. So they have a vested interest in siding with the banks. Now, folks, this is just a small part of it because the way that this, these people, this so-called elite, has run things, the Illuminati has run things, is they think they have ownership of them. The Pope, under papal law, claims to own all of us, not just our property, but our souls. Now, this is their property thing. We are their property. That's why we don't have rights from their perspective. I know the Declaration of Independence. I know the Bill of Rights. I know the the rights given in the Florida Constitution, for example, the 27 rights, not just 10 primary ones, but the, but the 27 of them, including the right to be free. But we're not free until we take a stand. That's what the four is about. Grounding the truth. Grounding the love on the planet. Now, I want to suggest that the only way these people are going to listen is by bringing massive lawsuits against them. In my particular instance, I'm, I'm putting this out there for those that will. Anybody that can help me, I, I think there's a couple of more steps that I can take that I'm aware of two more things that I can do before February the 15th. I hope I can do the second one. I'm not sure because that depends on other people being ready. And right now, as far as I know, they're not ready to, to, to work with me on that step. But I may have to become a plaintiff, which I've always defended the, in the lawsuit as a defendant. I've always been on the defense side of the of the coin. I may have to go on the plaintiff side of the coin and bring actual racketeering charges against the law firm, against the bank, and against individual judges in their personal capacity and the and the and the courts themselves, the the lower court here in Brevard County, the 18th uh, judicial court, and the and the court of appeal in Daytona, the the second Court of Appeal, I think it's the, whatever it is, and and these other courts that are not backing me on the writ of mandamus, there's only been two of them so far that, have, that I've gotten a response from, and I didn't do it the way they like it done, because they love ignoring it. They ignore it and hope that we will go away, and we're sitting back on the other side, ignoring them and hoping they will go away. They're ha so... I would give anything, anything to shirk my responsibility and let somebody else do it. I would, I'll tell you, I would love to throw in the towel and, and say, let the angels rescue us. Let the ETs rescue us. Let somebody else do it. But if there's any message that's coming across in channeled messages, and in giving us information, they cannot do it for us. We must take responsibility and do it for ourselves. They will help us, but they won't do it for us. There is no they that's going to be our savior. I know that's what some religions teach. And who created the religions, if not the same people that are in charge of the programs now? It's the papacy, the Vatican and all of its mother churches, including ones that aren't Christian, because this is a world thing. The Uni Uniform Commercial Code is, is run by the Vatican and the Bank of England and backed by the might and power of the, of the United States and NATO military. This is the system. How are we going to change it? We don't change it by ignoring it. We only can change it by becoming aware of what the problem is, realizing that, hey, we were born free. We were created by our creator with certain unalienable 
and unalienable rights. And among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The pursuit of property, it said in one earlier edition. The pursuit of owning things. Now, you, some people will say, well, that's a bad thing. The Native Americans and the indigenous people, they never saw themselves as owning anything. Well, there was a certain wonder in the indigenous peoples because they were connected to the natural world, which is a wonderful thing. But they are totally ignorant of the world, the artificial world, that we actually have to deal with because here we are. We're on the planet. We're not going to make it away, make it go away by sitting around and, and, and drumming in drum circles. And I love drum circles. Don't get me wrong. I love the campfires. I love the spiritual community that gets together and does ritual. I love that. I've, I've grown really to love that in my life. But that does not resolve the problem. The problem still remains in 2012 that I was hoping would go away by October 28th. 2011. It did not. It did not. Things happened, but the same people are still operating their charade. They're still operating their fraud because we, the people, have sold our birthright and not stood up. Now, I grant, granted, when some of us stand up like I have done, their tendency is to ignore it because they have a different mindset. They know that if they listen to what we're saying, what I'm saying and what others are saying, they lose. They know that. And they must lose because they're committing crimes against humanity. Actually, it's against themselves. But as long as they can derive benefit from the crime, they don't want to move away from it. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Now, there are lots of people all over the planet that are very, very smart in these legal issues very learned, very intelligent. And they they see the foundation of the law and they know how to use the law to win. Now, Tim Turner is the president of the Republic for the United States of America. He's the president. He gets a lot of a lot of negative press in the alternative media. A lot of people rail against Tim Turner. Because, and, and it's people, the biggest thing that I see is that people that took his courses on, on how, to, how the law really works and how things really work in this world, well, they've brought their case before courts and they've lost. And therefore, there are people that slam Tim Turner and say, it's your fault, you're, you're, you're teaching lies, you're teaching fraud. No, he's revealing fraud. Give the guy a break. I've met him face to face. I have felt his energy. He is not doing fraud. And these people that say that because other people that used his techniques did not win in the courts, that that means that his techniques were wrong. No, they weren't wrong. The birth, our birth certificates are worth a lot of money. They are securities sold on the securities, uh, sold on Wall Street. Uh, they come under the Securities and Exchange Commission. Every one of our birth certificates has value. That's how they've operated. They've robbed our inheritance, our value. They've robbed it and given it to themselves, giving themselves power of attorney over it because we were too ignorant to stand up for our rights and, and, and stand in our power. And they fear, they fear tremendously having us stand in our power, which is why I'm saying... I would welcome someone to help me do the plaintiff thing. I would welcome some help there on how to do it. So if anybody's listening, get in touch with me before February the 15th because it has to be done by the, by the time that they're planning on, on doing this foreclosure auction on my home. And again, I've never had a mortgage on this house and there has never been a foreclosure, yet they're doing a foreclosure sale. Now figure that one out. They have denied every one of the, of the normal procedures, the, the, the due process of law. They have denied it. They've ignored 
the things that I've done. So they have to be put on, they, they have to start defending because they, under the RICO acts, the racketeering acts, they are a mafioso. They are racketeering. The banks are in a racketeering business. And the IRS and, and the law, a lot of the law enforcement and code enforcement agencies are there as their coercive body to enforce the fraud. And so the, the people that are supposed to be enforcing the law and be peace officers are actually part of the problem. But they're ignorant. Most the, the, the police are not educated in these things for the most part, but they need to be. And we need to start filing huge class action lawsuits against the banks, against Wall Street. Unless the Occupy Wall Street movement worldwide handles this on a legal and lawful level, it's meaningless. You can protest till you're blue in the face. They don't care. The only thing they get is when, is when they are forced into the defensive mode. And unless we take action, they will remain on the offense and in control. The only way we can wrest control from them is by challenging them in their own system. Because let me tell you something, their own system has the laws that will beat them and destroy them. They enforce the laws on other people. But the laws that they enforce on other people need to be enforced on them. And we need to stand in our power, ground that energy, the 444, ground that energy on earth of taking back our birthright, taking back our inheritance, and saying, no more. Your services are no longer needed. And saying that loudly and clearly to these fraudulent governments, these fraudulent banks and corporations, and these fraudulent courts, and these fraudulent law enforcement uh, agencies and military that are enforcing the will of this elite that has stolen from us because of our own ignorance. That's our responsibility, to come into the truth and not be ignorant anymore. That's what it means to ground the energy of love and truth. It is the loving thing to be strong. Tough love, did you ever hear of it? We've got to do tough love because these people, as long as they can get away with their crap, are going to get away with it until we stand and confront them boldly. And so I'm asking you to wake up. Those of you that can, I'm asking for your help to take more steps. I'd rather not take them. I'd rather not have to do it. I'd rather somebody rescue me. But I'm willing to take the steps that need to be taken, provided I'm provided the help, and I will be. I don't doubt that the help that's needed is listening, both on this video and in the cosmos, and are aware of the situation. And they're cheering me on, and I can feel it in my heart. And they're cheering every one of us on as we are willing to stand in our world as human beings being raised to a higher vibration when we recognize our birthright and take back our inheritance. And then there shall be peace on earth and prosperity for all. And we will have a new heaven and a new earth. For the old heaven and the old earth are passed away and everything has become new and God will wipe away the tears from our eyes because we have suffered greatly, but not as the result of someone else, but as a result of our own ignorance and our own unwillingness to get involved. Ignoring fraud and corruption will not make it go away. And 2012 is our year to take our stand and to take back our birthright. Thank you for listening. Namaste.